Grade 8 Math, number 9.4c, Algebraic Rotations. We can find the coordinates of vertices of an image without graphing by using algebra. We can find them algebraically. A change left or right will affect the x-coordinate. A change up or down will affect the y-coordinate. These are specific rules for a transformation. When points are rotated around an origin 0, 0, the coordinates of the image can be found by following the rules for rotation and the x and y values are switched. So here's our rules for rotation. And it's very overcast outside. Sorry about that. It's a little dark on this video, but I hope you can see this. So the rules for rotation algebraically are if it's going to be turned 90 degrees clockwise, we multiply each x-coordinate by a negative 1 and switch the x and y values. So the negative x ends up on this side, see? And if we go counterclockwise, we multiply each y coordinate by negative 1 and switch the x and y values. So x is on this side and the negative 1 is up here. If we rotate it 180 degrees, that's halfway around a circle, we multiply both coordinates by negative 1. So they're both negative x and negative y, see? And they're not switched. See that? Because they're both negative. So quadrilateral ABCD has vertices of A is negative 4, 2, B is negative 3, 4, C is 2, 3, and D is 0, 0 in the origin, okay? It's right here, and see D is on the 0, 0 in the origin? It's our quadrilateral. We need to find the vertices after a 90 degree turn clockwise for A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. A 90 degree turn clockwise. So that means we're going to multiply each x coordinate by a negative 1 and then switch the x and y values. Then we need to graph this quadrilateral and its image. So the first thing we do is we apply the rule to find the vertices of the image. So these were the vertices of A, B, C, and D, the x and the y values. And the rule is to multiply the x coordinate by negative 1 and then to switch the x and y values. So this is x, negative 4, negative 3, 2, and 0. So they're the ones that are going to be multiplied by the negative 1, see? And 2, 4, 3, and 0 are the y values. They're switched, see? They switched places, didn't they? Now these are where the x were. So now we're going to do negative 1 times negative 4, which is a positive 4 because a negative and negative make a positive. Negative 1 times negative 3 makes a positive 3. Negative 1 times positive 2 makes a negative 2, and negative 1 times 0 makes 0, okay? So now we've got our new coordinates and vertices for A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime for our quadrilateral. We multiplied each x coordinate by negative 1 and then switched the x and y values. For the image, the y value signs have to be opposite of the pre-image y value signs. So, here was our image, and we had A here, and now A has become 2, 4. Instead of negative 4, positive 2, now it's 2, 4. So here it's at the 2 and the 4. There's our A prime. B prime is now 4, 3. It used to be negative 3, 4. Now it's positive 4, positive 3. Positive 4, positive 3. And C is now 3, negative 2. It was 2, positive 3. Now it's 3, negative 2. See how they swapped places? And the signs are opposite. So now it's 3, negative 2. And then, of course, D prime is going to be at 0, 0, the origin. See? Because that's where it was before. So for our image, our pink image, the Y value signs are opposite the pre-image Y value signs. All we've got to do is connect the lines, and we've got our new quadrilateral. And it rotated 90 degrees around. Do you see that? So if this was our quadrilateral, like right here, it rotated around that way. See? Really, it's more like this kind of shape, isn't it? And it rotated around this way. See that? That's how it rotated. All right? So it just kind of spun like that. See? It came around. This B is now over here, see? And the A is over here. And this C is now over here, but the D stayed the same because that's the center of rotation, isn't it? D was our center of rotation. So now I'm going to show you 
the rules like we did in the last couple of videos and I'm gonna freeze it right here and I'll give you a chance to pause the video here so you can copy this to your notes and this is really important to have in your notes so that you have the rules for rotations to solve them algebraically you want to write each one of these down and if you want to you can even write down what I did here in this table you can freeze the video and maybe copy this and you can even freeze it at the end that's why I like to back up and show the entire board because I figure that way people can pause and take notes see that's why I do this so we're finished with 9.4 and we're going to move on to 9.5 our next unit okay I hope this was helpful and I hope you now understand about reflecting and translating and rotating, okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.